Till The Fallen Angels, Part 3 of 8, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on February 7, 2021. So, God witnessed all that he had known beforehand. And then he solved the problem by letting the two angels die. Then he hung both of their cups on top of the darkness mountain that exists between the earth and heaven. The way it is described here, I think it is talking on astral level. Otherwise, it would say between many heavens, or between many levels of heavens. Of course, there's a God in the astral level as well. Uh, you know already at the time of initiation, right? Yes, Master. Yes, yes. You know his name? Yes. In the Hungarian retreat, I told you that each God, each level, when they have power, they create in their own uh, levels of uh, existence. Remember? Yes, yes Master. Master. So this is uh, probably the astral god. Yes. The Chinese, the Vietnamese, they call them also god. And mostly people only know this god. Since then, the magicians and those who uh, practice magic and stuff, they all come to that kind of mountain in order to have a good connection with each other and then learn magic. Magic, but they say Iltuk, meaning the black magic. Wow. Okay. Because they are also the descendants of these two angels. Thus, God has destroyed them also, again, so that they will not make the world become contaminated and filthy. Otherwise, because of them, they are more sinful, more vicious, and worse than the humans, they might also drag all the humans down and thus God will also have to destroy all the humans. You understand now? Yes, yes, yes Master. I told you that many of these uh, zealous ghosts and bad spirits, they, they also influence badly the humans, thus make them hard to teach, to guide them back home. And it, according to this book here, that was the reason why we had Noah's flood. Oh. You remember that? Yes, yes. Is that Noah, right? Yes. yes. Okay, okay. The flood. The great Noah's flood. That's what it is saying here. And now God, the Creator, needs new angels to replace the two dead and gone angels. Thus, He summoned Elijah and Nahum and told them that they have to uh, take care of the work that the other two angels, uh, deceased angels, uh, had been doing. In the Bible, it describes these stubborn and bad angels in this story. They call them the sons of God. There's one uh, scholar, a Jewish scholar named Mosh David Kasuto. He uh, lived from uh, 1883 until 1951. He had been uh, like uh, doing research about this according to the writings of people of uh, Phoenicia and Ugarit. He explained that when we talk about those uh, previous divas and probably angels that are mentioned in the Bible, it say that they have been exiled to the position of material beings, but have God's quality, meaning they belong to the group of the holiness, helping the Creator. Thus, this kind of uh, story has a link to the Bible. It's supposed to be maybe just a legend, long, long time, and maybe is lost from the same race of people. That is according to the name of Noah, the first son of Noah. The primary source of Semitic uh, race is comprised of the Jewish, Arabs, and uh, Phoenicians, etc. It's about the fight between Yahweh 
and those who are against him means has enemies, uh, God's enemies. I didn't know God has enemies. <laughs> it is said here. I guess these are fallen angels uh, went against him. This uh, story has the source from the Bible. Some of them also exist in the book of Enoch, uh, Mitras, uh, Quran, Zohar, and other several holy books. This uh, kind of story has the quality of a legend in them, like a fairy story. But many writers use it as inspiration, and then they have created many other kinds of stories similar. Yes. One of uh, these stories, a book inspired by this kind of story, The Two Fallen Angels, very famous, is uh, Paradise Lost. No. Written in 1667 by John Milton, England, from uh, 1608 to 1674, uh, his life. Uh, there were two uh, there were other stories. There were uh, Solomon and uh, Asmodai, the two fallen angels, have been also a water god and a wind god, with the names Asda and Azazel. <laughs> okay, uh, guys, that's it. The story is done. <laughs> thank, you, thank you for your patience, because it's not easy for me to translate either. <laughs> but now we can learn something from it, or not? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, tell me, what did you think about the story? What have you learned about it? Huh? Any questions? Any comments? <laughs> you can see how easy it is to fall because God doesn't control the free will of all beings. And thus, they are using this free will to go against God, to judge God's decision and benevolence. They are already fallen the moment they think and criticize God's treatment of humans. Yes, yes Master. What's that got to do with them anyway, how God treats other beings? They are the angels. The two of them were treated well, trusted, confidants, next to God's side, and doing just easy jobs, having all the privilege and comfort of an angel, and still go around and criticizing God. So, of course, at the end, they lose. They lose all the status and privilege. They already are fallen before they even open their mouths, just by their own negative thinking about God's decision, God's treatment of the human race. What's that got to do with them, how God treats others? Just like a very rich man, a millionaire, he decided to give some of his money away. It doesn't matter whom he wants to give and how much, it's his money. Yes, yes, yes. If you get some of it, you should be happy already. You should not compare, like, why God gives him more, why God gives me uh, less. That is not correct. Anyway, you should be just grateful for what you have been given. Yes, 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 yes. So these two angels, of course, they are no good for God anyway. If they carry this kind of critical mind and argumentative attitude against their own boss, even the one who created them, created their existence in any way, without God they wouldn't have existed. They wouldn't have known any pleasure or pain or suffering or how God treats humans. Therefore, they're doomed. They made it themselves. And you can predict the outcome anyway. And God has been so tolerant and generous already that He even gave them a chance to test their own strength and to understand humans so that they can maybe repent and be appreciative of their own glory. But no, you see, they fell miserably. Yes. That's why I keep telling you I'm sorry for humans. And I am trying all my might, and still am trying and will be trying to help them, despite so much difficulty, obstacles, and harm done to myself by the karma of all that. Okay? Now you understand, huh? Yes, yes Master. It is logical that if you look into the other direction, the opposite direction, then you are already on the way to that opposite direction in your mind, in your makeup of your being. The thing is, if they 
think opposite of God's thinking, God's doing, God's action, then they are already facing toward the opposite direction. So, the opposite direction is where they will be. It's like that. They did not have enough love. They did not have love at all. To feel sorry for the human's lot, who are less fortunate than they are, less privileged. Not only they don't feel sorry for the human's lot, they even criticize them and condemn them and want to destroy them. So, of course, this is all the opposite quality of a benevolent being, of God. Thus, they will meet their own judgment, their own fate. If you wish ill to someone else, you will beget that fate as well. As you saw, so shall you reap. Yes, yes. yes.